Yeah. Okay? So, start natin class yung orientation. Uh, before that pala, uh, kung nga pala pa si Engineer Kuing naniniwala sa kasabihang ang taong kinigilig sa akin nakatitig. Okay? So, yung orientation natin for today class, two parts siya. So, yung first part class is PowerPoint presentation. No? Tapos, second part class, ipapasadahan natin kung ano yung discuss ko dun sa PowerPoint presentation. Okay? So, ang pangit kasi dito class, kapag naka-PowerPoint presentation ako class, hindi ko nakikita ko ano yung nasa screens nyo. So, na malungkot mag-monolog class. Okay? So, gusto ko class, meron tayong isang secretary. Ang use ng secretary class is i-update niya ako kung yun ba yung nakikita yung sa screens nyo. Okay? Para nagkakaintindihan naman tayo. Okay? So, may volunteer ba class? Ang gagawin class ng secretary is i-confirm ko, ito ba yung nakikita niyo sa screen? So, magre-respond lang siya class kung yes or no. Okay? May volunteer ba tayo class na maging secretary? So, pag ikaw kasi yung secretary class, dapat bawal matulog. Yun lang naman. So, dapat kasi yung secretary natin yung hindi kasama dun sa recollection. Yun ang dito. Unahin natin yung nasa first na lang sa listahan class. Andito ba si ano? Paano basahin yan? Ainsley? <laughs> Wala. <laughs> Dito ba si ano? Yung kapakalan ko na lang. Si Mr. Garcia. Sir Garcia, andito ka ba? Ikaw na lang secretary natin. No? So again, parang ikaw confirm mo lang kung yun yung nasa screens natin or hindi. Yes. Tapos dapat verbal. Okay? Kaya ba? If ever class, ah, ano, tatanungin ko lang kasi kasi hindi ko nakikita kung ano yung sa screens, di ba? So, tatanungin ko kung ito ba yung nakikita, sa, nakikita yung sa screens nyo. Tapos, ano, kung ano yung nakikita mo sa screen, kung nag-update ba siya or hindi. So, mag yes or no ka lang. Okay? Sige. If ever naman, kahit sino, pwede. Okay? So, start na natin class. Isashare ko na yung presentation natin. Yan. So, dapat class na nakikita natin sa screens is yung PowerPoint presentation. Tama? Wala pa. Ayan. Okay? So, start natin class. So, dapat class ang nasa screens natin is yung syllabus. Tama? Ayan. Okay? So, first up class, ang pinaka-definition natin ng syllabus, ito yung parang topics natin for the whole semester. Okay? So, ang kailangan nyo lang i-gets dito class is dapat kaya nyo interpret. Okay? So, first of the semester class, dahil semestral tayo class, meron tayong tinatawag class na prelims. Okay, prelims tayo class, no? Meron tayong midterms, tapos meron tayong finals. Okay? So, tatlo yung terms natin class. So, ang focus natin dito class is yung second column tsaka yung third column. Okay? So, ito na yung interpretation class. For a given topic, meron tayong time allotted. So, supposedly class, kung nor normal classroom setting man daw to, supposedly daw class yung first topic natin, yung course introduction or yung principles of electricity class, dapat i-discuss natin siya ng 8 hours. Okay? So, hours to class. Or like since normally kasi 1 hour is equal to 1 meeting, so 8 meetings. So, ganun class yung interpretation. Okay? So, yung electrical power and energy class, supposedly daw 2 meetings. So, ganun yung interpretation natin class na. Okay? So, kung i-overview natin class kung ano yung topics natin for the whole semester class, uh, ano lang siya, pwede mo siyang i-cut into, sabihin natin yung tatlo. Okay? So, i-gets nyo kasi class ang yung subject natin or yung course natin class, ito is yung allied courses. Kung baga ito class yung allied professional, kung baga ito yung uh, allied ni civil. Okay? So more or less class, dapat aware rin tayo kung ano yung mga ginagawa ng mga allied professionals natin. Okay? So kung hati natin class yung topics natin class, kung titignan nyo ito, yung prelims tsaka midterms class, it's all about electricity. Okay? Or ito class yung parang introduction or ito yung uh, take natin class sa electrical engineering. Okay? So after yung electrical engineering class, meron tayo parang minor architectural. So sa bandang finals na yung class, yung lighting, yung architectural lamps hanggang architectural lighting design. Okay? So dito class, pag-aaralan natin konti about architecture. Okay? So allied professional rin yan. So yung mga allied professional pala natin class, yung mga engineers na ibang major. 
So, meron tayong electronics, electrical, mining, uh, geodetic, yung mga ganun. Industrial. Tsaka yung architecture. Okay? So, again, class, yung prelims to midterms, class, we'll talk about something about electrical engineering. Okay? So, finals naman, class, yung first part of finals, finals is something about ano, architecture. Okay? Tapos yung second part, class, ng finals, ito na yung sa electronics engineering. All about telecommunications. Okay? But with this class, parang yan. So, ganun class yung laman ng syllabus natin. Okay? So, supposedly class, madiscuss ko dapat lahat yan para hindi tayo lugi sa tuition. Okay? So, next slide class. So, dapat class ang nasa screens natin is yung main reference natin. Tama ba? Okay? So, maganda class dapat iisa lang yung reference natin class kasi pag magkakaiba kasi yung reference natin or hindi tayo magkamatch ng reference, hindi tayo magkakaintindihan in a way class. Okay? So, for reference kasi class, di ba may discussion science? For something discussion class, meron yung formula. Okay? Depende kasi dun sa reference mo class, dun sa formula nyo, parang may letters, di ba? Or notations. Kuwari class, dun sa formula mo, letter P. So, depende dun sa reference mo class, minsan ang tawag nila sa P class, pressure. Okay? Pero sa ibang uh, references nyo class, ang P nila, yun yung load. So, mas maganda class na isa yung main reference natin para... Isa lang yung parang basis natin. Okay? Isa, iba, isa lang yung parang teaching style niya. So, ang main reference natin class for the subject is ito. Si mechanical and electrical systems in architecture, engineering, and construction. Okay? So, ang tanong class, i-require ko ba kayong bumili ng book? So, hindi ko na kayo i-require ng book class. Uh, kasi magbibigay ako ng PDFs dun sa Google Classroom. Actually, nagbigay na ako. Okay? Pero if gusto nyo, class, iba kasi yung may sinusulatan ka rin, no? Yung pwede kang maglagay ng bookmarks. If gusto nyo, class, kumuha kayo ng book. Okay? So, kung nabitin yan, class, meron tayong second main reference. So, ang second na main reference natin, class, is yung electrical layouts and estimate. So, dapat, class, ang nasa screens natin is yung electrical layout and estimate. Tama ba? Yan. So, ito yung second main reference natin, class, electrical layout and estimate by Max Fajardo, Jr. Okay? So, again, class, hindi ko kayo na-record bumili ng libro. Magbibigyan na lang ng PDF format dun sa Google Classroom. Ang isa kasing advantage, class, ng PDF, uh, portable siya. Basta may phone ka, no? Tapos, class, meron siyang find function. Yung pwede kang mag-find ng word within the uh, PDF. Okay? So, maglalaking tulong yun, class, para hindi ka na mag-table of contents. Ganun. Okay? So, next slide, class. Dapat ang nasa screens natin is yung books. Tama ba? Okay. So, pag nabitin tayo, class, dun sa main references natin, class, meron pa tayong other. So, pag yung hindi nyo mahanap, siguro kung anong gusto nyo hanapin dun ka sa dalawang references natin, class, may provided other references CSLE. So, ito, class, yung box natin. Yan. Okay. So, next slide, class. Dapat ang nasa screens natin is yung modules. Tama? Okay. So, ito, class, yung list ng modules natin. So, meron tayong all in all 7 modules. Okay? So, again, class, ang breakdown yan, kung titignan nyo, modules 1 to 4 class, all about electrical engineering. Okay? Modules 5 and 6 class, all about architecture. Specifically, class, yung lighting. Okay? Tapos, class, yung module 7 naman, class, ito na yung uh, something about electronics engineering or ECE, electronics and communication engineering. Okay? So, yan, class, yung modules natin. Yeah, hindi tayo siya nag-duel dyan. Okay? So next slide class, dapat ang nasa screens natin is yung lesson plan natin for the whole semester. Tama ba? Okay? So kung titignan nyo class, yung lesson plan natin, uh, meron lang tayong dalawang columns. Yung duration class in weeks, yun yung first column. Second column natin class is yung parang topics. Okay? So para magka-idea kayo class kung anong mangyayari for the whole semester, something ganito. Pero hindi naman siya super to the last ano, letter. Okay? Para idea lang. So kung titignan nyo, class, again, dahil semestral tayo, class, meron tayong three terms. Prelims, midterms, as final. So magkakaroon tayo, class, ng uh, prelim exam, midterm exam, tapos final exam. Yun, class, yung red na row. Okay? So yan, class. Andyan yung dates niya. Specific dates. Okay? So yan, class, within this week. Hindi sure yung February 23. Depende kasi sa schedule. Okay? Pero yan kasi yung mga parang, parang magkaidiyan sa schedule ng ating exam. 
Okay? So, titignan nyo class for prelims, we will discuss module 1 and 2. Okay? For midterms, class modules 3 and 4. For finals, class modules 5 to 7. Okay? Tapos, class up, uh, something ganito. Pero hindi naman super sure na ganito. So, supposedly, class, we are to have two quizzes per term. Okay? So, supposedly, class, after module 1, we'll have one quiz. After module 2, we'll have another quiz. Okay? Tapos, class, after those, we'll have exams. So, supposedly, class, the exam will cover yun, previously discussed, discussed modules. Okay? Something ganun. I'll specifically announce na lang, class, dun sa Google Classroom natin what is the coverage for the exam. And for the quizzes na rin. Okay? So, again, class, ganito. So, supposedly, class, we will have uh, about 17 weeks for yeah, the discussion. Okay? So, yan, class, yung ating schedule for the whole semester. Okay? So, next slide, class, dapat ang nasa screens natin is yung grading system. Tama? Yeah. So, dapat, class, aware kayo kung saan manggagaling yung grades nyo. Tapos, ano yung computation ng grades? Okay? So, for our subject class, meron lang tayong tatlo. Tatlo lang yung activities class yung saan mong gagaling yung grade nyo. So, meron tayong quiz, meron tayong homework class, tapos meron tayong exam. Okay? So, supposedly class for every term, meron tayong minimum number of activities. <laughs> Pero ito class, hindi siya masyadong masusunod. Depende na lang class. Depende. Okay? So, per term class, again, ang terms natin tatlo, prelim, midterms, or finals. Okay? So, supposedly class, Supposedly, class, meron tayong at least two quizzes, one homework per module, tapos isang exam. Okay? So, ang computation ng grade natin, class, for the final, final grade, class, manggagaling yan sa prelim, midterm, tapos temporary final grade. Ang hatian nila, class, 30% sa prelim, 30% sa midterms, tapos 40% class sa temporary final grade. Okay? So, kung titignan nyo, class, mas malaki yung sa temporary final grade, siguro ang pinaka-goal lang kasi nila dito, class, Para maiwasan yung short pass, prelims pa lang. Okay? So para imposible yung mangyari yun. Minsan kasi yung student, kapag ganun, hindi na nag-aaral or hindi na pumapasok. Okay? So computation naman natin class ng prelim midterms or yung temporary final grade class, ito. So again, manggagaling yung class sa homework, sa quiz, tsaka sa exam. Okay? Ang i-guess nyo dito class, hindi magka-way class yung homework natin tsaka yung quiz. Okay? Kung baga class, supposedly kasi di ba ang tawag natin sa homework sa mga quiz, ito yung class standing natin. Okay? So para ang galawan class, 50% class standing, 50% exam. But then again, class yung class standing natin na 50%, mahati ulit into homework sa quiz. Okay? So ang galawan natin dito class, hindi natin i-add yung scores mo ng homework dun sa quiz, tapos times 50 plus 50. Hindi ganun yung class. Okay? So may weight yung homework, 15%, yung quiz natin class 35%. So, anong ibig sabihin nun, class? Kung papapiliin ka, class, kung ano i-prioritize mo, class, unahin mo na yung quiz. Kasi, class, yun yung mas mabigat. Okay? So, ganun, class, yung ating grading system. So, dapat, class, ang nasa screens to. Next slide tayo. Dapat, class, ang nasa screens natin is yung time versus time and time the activities. Tama ba? Yan. So, sa akin, class, ang, ang struggle ko kasi sa online siguro, kit yung ano, magkakaparehas ng grades yung mga estudyante ko. Okay? So, ang, ang fix natin dun, class, lalagyan ko ng timer yung quiz tsaka exam. Para ma-assess mo talaga kung sino dun yung 90 plus something, ganun. Okay? So, with that class, may dalawang variations tayo ng activities. First class, meron tayong tinatawag na time activities. Okay? Tapos yung second class, meron tayong untimed. So, ang pinaka-difference class yung dalawa, Yung time class, meron yung timer. So, under pressure ka class. Pag sinabing timer class, magka-countdown yung timer. The moment class na naging zero yung timer, magka-close na yung activity na yun. Okay? So, unlike ang time activities class, wala siyang time pressure. In a way class, may pressure pa rin, pero less. Kasi class, meron lang siyang due dates. Okay? So, specify natin class, ano yung differences sa similarities ng time at untime activities. Okay? So, for the time activities class, ito yung ating quizzes at exams. Okay? Yung untime activities natin class, ito yung homeworks. Okay? So, again class, pag quiz yun or exam class, under time pressure siya. So, meron yung timer class. 
Again, class yung timer na yun. Pag it reaches zero, class magkaklose na yung quiz or exam na yun. Okay? Unlike sa homework class, walang timer yun, pero may due date. Okay? So para magka-idea kayo class kung ilan yung duration ng quiz sa exam class, okay? So yung quiz sa exam about 1 to 2 hours lang siya. Okay? So do not worry class dun sa 1 to 2 hours na yan. Uh, given naman na diyan class yung time para i-upload yung solution paper natin. Okay? So kung worry class, ang timer natin 2 hours. So dun sa 2 hours na yun class 2 parts yun. Yung 1 hour 30 minutes dun class, yun yung time para i-take mo yung exam. Kung baga naka-design yung exam for 1 hour 30 minutes. Okay? Yung additional class na 30 minutes ulit for the upload of the solution paper. So ang total na niya class, yung timer natin, 2 hours. So ating ganun. Okay? So pinaglalaban ko lang dun class, magbibigay ako ng time for you to upload yung solution papers. Okay? Sa homeworks naman class, ang typical duration niyan is 1 week. Okay? So, yung due date niya must be set uh, one week from the time it was given. Something ganun. Okay? So, uh, isa pang difference nila class, if it is a quiz or exam class, it can only, it may, may only be, yeah, can, it can only be open once. Kung baga kasi class, supposedly, if you open the quiz, pag nakita mo na siya, the timer will run. Okay? Para malimit rin. Kung baga dapat once mo lang siyang makita. Okay? So, unlike class sa homework, Pwede mo siyang i-open multiple times. Basta wag mo munang i-submit. Kung baga, yeah. Hanggat hindi mo siya nasasubmit class yung may open it, pwede mong tignan. So pwede mong i-close ulit. So pwede mo ulit tignan the next day. Okay? So, pag quiz and homework class, solution papers must be submitted within a given time frame. Okay? So yung time frame na to class, kung kailan mo binuksan yung quiz na yun, Kung baga kasi class para maging credible yung mga sagot mo, supposedly the solution paper must be submitted as up. Okay? So, untime activities class or sa homeworks, yung solution paper mo may be submitted on or before the due date. Okay? Kasi class, pag late mong sinubmit yung solution paper, may penalty yan. Okay? So, para pinaka-basis natin class supposedly, ang i-grade ko rin kasi class is yung solution paper. Okay? So, yun. Uh, so, yung Quizzes or exams natin class, it will be posted for two days only. So, kung baga class, example, so two days at least. So, kung wari class, pinost ko siya ng Monday tsaka Tuesday. Kung wari may exam tayo class, no? It will be posted for Monday to Tuesday. Okay? So, within those two days na yun class, ikaw yung pipili kung kailan may titake. Dapat within those two days. Okay? So, kung alam mo class na yung internet nyo mabilis ng 1 a.m. in the morning, so supposedly class, itake mo dun. Okay? So, something ganun class. So, personally, pwede kang pumili within those two days when to take the exam or the quiz. Okay? So, sa homework naman class, uh, sige, mga at least six days tayo. So, homework will be posted for at least six days para pasok dun sa one-week duration. Okay? Tapos, lastly class, ang specific difference sila class pag question or homework class hindi mo lang siya pwedeng itake pag nag-lapse na class yung posting niya. Okay? So, dapat class, ganun. Unlike class sa homework, andun lang siya class. Kung baga kasi class yung quiz or exam, tatanggalin ko na siya after nung two days of posting. Yung homework sa ating class, kahit lagpas na siya sa due date, andun pa rin siya. Okay? Ang difference lang nila class, may penalty silang dalawa. Okay? So, similarities class, both can be submitted once only. Okay, so once lang class pwedeng isubmit to. Okay, tapos both class solution papers must be submitted sa Google Classroom. Okay, lastly class for both or for all activities natin class, late submissions incurs penalty. Okay, so yun class yung pinaka-difference. Again class, ang pinaka-difference nila for time activities or quizzes and exam class, may timer yan. Pag nag yung timer class, yun, magka-close. Okay? For homeworks naman class, may due dates lang siya. Okay? So next slide tayo class. So ang dapat ang nasa screens natin class is yung uh, engineering math 3 final exam. Tama? Yan. Okay? So ganito class ang itsura ng timed activity. Okay? So ang galawan natin dun class, mag-email ako or mag-provide ako ng link. Pag binuksan mo yung link na yun class, mapapadpad ka dito sa first picture. Okay? 
So dito class, warningan ka muna niya. In a way class, i-warn ka niya na kung ready ka ba o hindi. Okay? Kung baga class, magsa-stop ka dapat dito. Pag quiz yan or exam. Okay? Kung baga kung hindi ka pa ready class, i-close mo. Pag meet mo na yung first picture na yan. So kung ready, ready, ready ka na talaga class, pipindutin mo ka lang yung class doon sa first picture. Sa bottom ng first picture class, meron yung open form. So pag you are decided na talaga class na ready ka na, pindutin mo yung open form. Okay? Pag pinindot mo yung open form class, mapapadpad ka dito sa second picture yung nasa right. Ganyan class yung magiging itsura. Okay? So ang pinaka-distinct class characteristic ng quiz or exam class, kung titignan nyo doon sa baba ng URL, may timer doon. So ganyan class ang itsura ng timer. Okay? So for this exam class, 2 hours siya. So 2 hours na maglaran yung timer na yan. Okay? Again class, dapat pag hindi ka pa ready, huwag mo muna pindutin yung open form. Okay? So next slide tayo class. So dapat ang nasa screens natin class is yung sample homework. Tama? So ganito class ang itsura ng activities natin. Actually ganito rin yung sa quiz. May difference lang silang konti. Okay? So Google Forms ang gagamitin natin class. So may three parts class yung Google Form natin. Yung first part class yun yung first picture. More or less class dito niya sasabihin ko na instructions natin. Kailan yung due date. Okay? Tapos so, tatanungin niya class kung yung email address. Tapos what is your name? So for the email address class, magandang ilagay natin is yung SLU. Dapat working yan eh. Kasi dyan class, i-email ko ano yung sagot. I mean, ano yung scores mo. So ang gamitin natin dito class is yung SLU email natin. Okay? Tapos class, syempre required rin yung name. So may format yung name natin class. Surname muna bago given name. Okay? Second part ng ating activity class sa Google Form, andito na yung laman. Okay? So andyan na class yung kung ano yung activity natin. So as much as possible class, gagawin ko siyang multiple choice para mas madali. Tipong mas madaling mag-check. Okay? Last part class, ito na yung last page ng activity natin class. Meron tayong ganyan. Para ipapakita niya class kung ano yung Uh, requirements ng solution paper natin. Tapos sabihin niya rin class saan mo i-upload yung solution paper. Tapos may warning class, you should press the submit button for your answers to be recorded. Okay? Tapos lastly class, para sure, tatanungin niya pag nasinabit mo na yung solution paper mo. Okay, guess natin class, ang pinaka-priority natin dito ko solution paper kasi yung solution paper class, yan yung i-check ko. The absence of the solution paper class, medyo yung score natin class, mga minimal, super minimal. Minimum. Okay. Yeah. So next slide tayo class. So ganito naman class ang itsura ng sample quiz. So dapat ang nasa screens natin class is yung sample quiz. Tama ba? Yan. Yeah. Okay. So ang, actually parehas lang talaga sila ng homework. A difference lang kasi class may timer ulit to no. Tapos class, ang pinaka difference nila focus tayo dun sa third picture. Second to the last panel. So kung titignan nyo class andito yung submission ID. So yan lang class yung pinaka difference nila. So yung submission ID kasi na yan, class, yan yung parang fingerprint or footprint ng ating timer. Okay? So, eto class, yung submission ID na yan, huwag nyo nang galawin kung ano yung nandyan. Okay? So para mas makita natin, class, i-enlarge natin. So yan. So dapat kasi na nasa screens natin, class, is yung time activity reminder. Tama? Yan. Okay? So again, class, eto, yung last panel sa so submission ID, yan class yung meron sa quiz na wala sa exam. I mean, yan yung meron sa quiz at exam na wala sa homework. Kasi class, ito yung parang fingerprint ng ating timer. Okay? So dito class, kahit wala kang linagay na answer or hindi mo inedit yan class, may nakalagay. Okay? So whatever is in their class, huwag nyo nang galawin. Kasi class, pag ginalaw mo yan, medyo tamado yung ating timer. Okay? So again class, just skip the field. Okay? Huwag mo nang galawin kung ano yung nandyan. Pero may times kasi class naglolo ko yung ating Google Form. Kahit wala kang ginawa class or hindi mo nang ginalaw, hindi mo i-delete class, walang laman yan. Okay? So the moment class na walang laman yan, hindi mo mapipindot yung submit button. Bakit class? Kasi ito class is a required field. The presence of the asterisk doon. Okay? So pag nangyari yan class again, wala ka namang ginawa pero walang laman hindi mo masasubmit yung form. Okay? So, ang gagawin mo dito, class, maglagay ka na lang ng kahit na ano. Maglagay ka ng letters or yung ID number mo or what. For the sake, lack class of submission of ng form. Okay? So, kung may questions tayo, class, itanong, ilista nyo muna. Kasi so, itanong nyo sa dulo. Okay? Para dire-diretso tayo. Okay? Next slide, class, dapat ang nasa screens natin is yung end results. Tama? 
Yan. Okay? So, eto class, anong, para sure ka kung nasubmit mo or hindi mo nasubmit yung form. So, anong itsura class kapag nasubmit mo yung form? So, yun yung first picture class. So, ikaw congratulate ka niya. Or like, sasabihin niyang thank you, your form was successfully submitted. Okay? Kapag naman class hindi mo nasubmit, so, mangyayari lang to class sa quiz or exam, no? Kung baga class, nag-lapse yung timer, hindi mo napindot yung submit button, ito yung magpapakita. And, sorry, the time is over. Your answers were not recorded. Okay? So, pag nagyari ito, class, more or less, huwag kang magpanik. Siguro may something lang or ano, first time na nun. Okay? Ang nangyari lang dito, class, parang hindi mo na submit yung answers mo, hindi mo na submit yung questionnaire. Okay? So, pag nangyari ito, class, dapat ang SOP natin dito, class, standard operating procedure natin, class, is isubmit mo agad yung solution paper mo dun sa Google Classroom. Okay? Kasi class, para ang nangyari lang, yung questionnaire lang hindi mo sinubmit. Pero nasa, kaya ako pa rin isubmit solution paper class para may score tayo. Okay? So, next slide class. Dapat ang nasa screens natin is yung solution paper. Tama? Yan. So, ang pinaka-priority natin class, dapat may list tayo ng priorities, no? So, ang priority natin class is yung solution paper, yun yung first. Second class is pindutin yung submit button. Third class, matulog. Okay? So, yung first priority natin class dapat tong solution paper kasi dito talaga manggagaling class yung score mo. Okay? Yun nga class, di ba? The moment na nangyari yun, hindi mo nasubmit yung form. Ang nangyari lang dun class, hindi mo lang nasubmit yung questionnaire. So, okay lang yun in a way class. Pero ang pangit lang dun kasi class, may disadvantages na yun. Pero pag nangyari yun class, again, don't panic. As of, isubmit mo lang yung solution paper class dun sa Google Classroom. Para may mag-grade pa rin ako. Okay? So, yan. So, meron tayong specs class ng solution paper. So, ang only requirement natin class sa solution paper is dapat single PDF file lang siya. So, medyo problema to, no? Bakit? Kasi class, di ba, pag solution paper, syempre, nasa papel yan. So, ang gagawin mo class para masabit mo yung solution paper, pipicturean mo. So, ang, low, ang, ang raw format ng solution paper natin, PD, uh, PNG lang siya class or JPEG. Okay? So, there are ways class para i-convert siya into a single PDF file. So, kahit wag nyo nang pansinin class yung size. Okay? So, three ways. Three recommendations class. First recommendation class dapat meron ka lang laptop or computer. Okay? Kasi class yung pictures na pinicturan mo class, ilalagay mo sa Word, is same mo as PDF. With that class, na-meet natin yung requirement na single PDF file. Okay? Second way class is dapat meron tayong scanner at computer or laptop. Okay? So, scan mo lang class yung solution paper mo. Tapos, merong option doon na combine into a single PDF. So, with that class, pasok ulit tayo sa single PDF file. Okay? Tapos, lastly class, ito yung pinaka-favorite natin. Ang requirement lang dito class is a smartphone. Okay? So, kailangan mo lang class mag-download ng app from Google Play Store or App Store ng Cam Scanner class or Tap Scanner. Okay? Kasi class, itong mobile apps na ito class, i-convert na nila yung picture into a single PDF file. So, pasok ulit tayo class dun sa requirement. Okay? Again, class, ang pinaka gusto natin class is a single PDF file. Okay? Ah, meron pa palang isa class. Gusto ko class yung file name natin is, yan, kung ano yung code ng subject. So, CE2241 underscore surname. Pag alam mo class na meron kang ka-surname, maglagay ka ng initial. So, kung wari class, Kuing A. Okay? So, titignan nyo class after nung recommendations ng solution paper or specs ng solution paper class, sa baba, ibibigyan nyo yung link kung saan mo i-upload class yung solution paper. So, more or less class, that is, dun lang lang sa Google Classroom kung saan yung activity na yan. Okay? So, next slide natin class, paano mo makikita yung score mo? So, dapat ang nakita natin sa screens is yung missed questions and correct answers. Tama? Yan. Okay? So, dito class, ang pinaka-requirement lang nito, dapat mag-click mo yung submit button. Kasi class, pag na-click mo yung submit button, ito class yung i-return ko. Kung baga ka successfully submitted yung uh, Google Form class, yun yung mag-check ko class. Uh, I mean, yeah, dito mo makikita eh. Tapos yun yung i-return ko class. So, pag na-return ko yung class, magkakaroon ng email dun sa email na in-enter mo dun sa uh, first page or like yung SLU email natin. Okay. So, hanapin mo lang yung doon class yung score release uh, na bigay ni AB Queen. Okay? Pag pinindot mo class yung email, so focus tayo class sa first picture, yung top left. 
Yan. Click down email class. Mapapadpad ka dito sa picture sa lower left. Okay? So, makikita mo yung score mo class. So, dito sa scenario to class, ang score natin, 24 over 100. Okay? So, kung gusto mong makita class kung saan doon yung tama mo, saan doon yung mali mo, pindutin mo yung view button na yan. So, pag pinindot mo yung view button na yan, class, mapapadpad ka doon sa picture sa right. So, mabubuksan mo yung form class. Doon sa form na yun class, makikita mo kung saan doon yung tama mo, tapos saan doon yung mali. Tapos kung ano yung quest ay yung correct answer if ever na mali ka. Okay? So, ganun class, makikita yung correct answers, missed and correct questions. Okay? So, next slide tayo, class. So, dapat, class, ang nasa screens natin is yung late submission penalties. Tama? Yan. So, para fair sa iba, class, tsaka para hindi magkakamukha yung grades nyo, class, maglagay tayo ng penalty, class, for late submission. Okay? So, ito yung specs ng late submission natin, class. Pag homework yung pinag-uusapan natin, class, 10 points deductions for every day. Every day of late submission. Okay? So, para mas ma-imagine nyo, class, ganito yung senaryo. Kung wari, class, meron tayong 20-point homework. Tapos, ang due date niya, class, is July 6. Okay? So, ikaw, class, nag-submit ka ng July 9. So, kung i-compute natin, class, late ka ng 3 days. So, supposedly, class, minus 30. Kasi 10 points for every day, di ba? So, 20 minus 30, class, negative 10. So, ang highest possible score mo lang, class, 0. So, ang pinaglalaban lang natin dito, class, hindi ka magni-negative sa score. Okay? Next scenario, class, nag-submit ka ng July 7. So, kung i-compute natin, class, 1 day late. So, minus 10. So, 20 minus 10, class, ang highest possible score mo na dito, class, 10 over 20. Okay? So, medyo tansyain mo rin, class, kung may points ka. So, matakot kang, class, mag-submit ng late. Okay? So, for quizzes and exams naman, class, ang penalty natin is 10 points for every hour. Every hour, class, every hour of late submission. Okay? So, paano mo malalaman, class, kung late yung quiz more exam class? Ang pinaka-basis natin, class, is yung solution paper. Ang um, standard operating procedure kasi natin, class, dapat, before mo kasi, class, pindutin yung submit button, binigay mo muna yung solution paper. Okay? So, magiging late, class, yung quiz more exam kapag late mong binigay, class, yung solution paper. Siyempre, kasi, class, yung credibility kasi yung mga sagot mo dun sa questionnaire, ah, uh, Medyo magtataka na ako, class. Bakit nakahuli yung solution paper? Okay? Yeah, pero may times pala kasi, class, pag phone yung gamit mo kasi di bang mag-take nung quiz or exam, class, uh, syempre, mahirap mag-open in new tab yun, di ba? Kasi, class, pag pinindot mo yung link, mag-open in new tab yun. Okay? So, parang medyo mahirap. So, siguro, siguro so, ang gagawin natin, class, magbibigay tayo ng 15-minute grace period. Kung baga, class, ang sinasabi ko lang dito, Pwede mong pindutin muna yung submit button. Tapos after 15 or within those 15 minutes after mong pindutin yung submit button, dapat asap naka-upload na class yung solution paper natin. Para class hindi malate. Gets ba? Okay? So tuloy-tuloy lang tayo class. So next slide. So dapat class ang nasa screens natin is yung OBL. Yung discussion natin ng OBL. Tama? Yan. So, kung titignan nyo class yung nasa left picture, ito yung guidelines ni SLU about online. Okay? So, sinamarize lang natin class kung ano lang yung gusto natin pag-usapan. Meron tayong two important points. First point class, there's no such thing. Ay, de, no, ang sabi sa guideline class, no synchronous online meeting. So, pag sinabi yung synchronous class, parang at the same time. So, ito class yung parang pipilitin yung estudyante mag-online ng 7.30 para mag-meet kayo. Okay? So, ibig sabihin ba class yung ginagawa natin is bawal. So, technically, class, yung ginagawa natin is bawal. Kasi ang bawal, class, is magbigay ka ng graded activity dun sa time na binigay mo. Okay? So, ang bawal dito, class, is pipilitin mo yung sudyante mag-online ng 7.30 to 8.30 Monday. Tapos, magbibigay ka, class, ng activity na graded dun. Okay? So, okay lang yung sa ating class as long as wala ko ibigay ng graded activity. Okay? Second point, class, so, ang teaching style ko kasi, class, is gagawa ako ng offline videos tapos i-upload ko class sa YouTube or sa Google. Okay? So, pag ganun kasi class, uh, anong use class ng schedule natin? Di ba? Kasi may schedule tayo. Ay, hindi ko na edit. Dapat class 9. Ah, yeah. Ay, tama pala. 8.30 to 9.30 yung schedule natin, TTHS, di ba class? So, kapag ang galawan ko class is offline, anong gagawin natin class dun sa schedule natin? So, supposedly, class, ang use kasi ng schedule na yun is for consultation. 
Okay? Kung baga class, kung may mga tanong kayo, doon natin i-discuss. Okay? So, if ever pala class may mga tanong kayo or something, pwede nyo akong ma-reach. Hindi ko, pa pala, hindi ko kasi pala module, no? Lalagay ko na lang class doon sa module, sa baba ng module. Pwede nyo akong ma-reach class through message, text. Uh, yeah. Through text, messenger, or Google Classroom. Okay? So, kung... Gusto niyo mag-reply ako agad class reach me through messenger kasi mas makikita ko agad kung doon. Okay? So sa times class na may tanong kayo, kasi hindi ko masagot through messages, dito tayo class. Ito na yung pinaka-use ng consultation hour natin. Okay? Yung tipong kailangan natin mag-drawing, kailangan natin mag-discuss. Dito tayo sa Google Meet, mag dito ko sasagutin yung tanong. Okay? So ang schedule ng consultation hour natin class, dito yung mag-meet TTHS. Magbimit lang tayo supposedly class uh, 8.30 to 9.30 Saturdays. Okay? So hindi ko kayo pipilitin class mag-meet ng 8.30 to 9.30 Saturdays unless meron lang tayong tanong. Or kapag may time sa class na i-require ko. Okay? So ang pinaka-requirement natin class is uh, dapat meron tayo dun sa consultation hour natin na again 8.30 to 9.30 Saturdays. Uh, dun sa Saturday class every after a quiz or exam. Okay? Kailangan nyo magkita class after ng quiz or exam para class ano, para madiscuss natin kung ano yung tama tapos ano yung mali. Okay? Or kung may questions kayo about the quiz or exam class, uh, sabihin nyo dun. Okay? Or whenever announced class. So may times class na i-record ko kayong mag-meet tayo. So kailangan nyo magpakita dun kasi mag-check tayo ng attendance. Okay? So yun yun. Aya? So, di ba, ang galawan ko pala kasi class is uh, offline videos. So, i-upload ko siya class sa dalawang platform. Sa Google Drive class, siya sa YouTube. So, sa Google Drive class, para ma-download nyo. Maganda kasi pag downloaded mo. At least, pwede mong i-play anytime, multiple times. Okay? Tapos, class dun sa mga... Sa YouTube. Kasi daw, class, mababa yung data consumption pag YouTube. Ito nga rin naman. Okay? So, next slide tayo, class. So, next slides. Ito na yung Google Classroom. So, dapat class, ang nakikita nyo sa screen nyo is yung Google Classroom Browser Edition. Tama? Yan. So, ganito class yung itsura ng Google Classroom sa browser. So, yung first picture class, yan. Ito yung default ng Google Classroom. So, pag binuksan mo, makikita yung mga classes mo. So, pag nag-click ka, nag ka class ng isang class, mapapadpad ka dun sa second picture. So, ganyan yung itsura ng classroom. Okay. So, next slide tayo, class. Dapat ang nasa screen natin is yung mobile app edition. Tama? Yan. So, three pictures, class. First picture, yung leftmost. Ito yung, dito mo na download. So, ito yung Google Play Store. Second picture, class. Ito yung middle picture. Yan yung default sa mobile app. Okay? So, makita yung mga classes mo. So, magpindot ka sa isang class, yun na yung third picture. Okay? So, kung titignan nyo class sa Google Classroom, meron tayong tatlong tabs. So, focus tayo class dito sa third picture, doon sa button ng third picture. Meron tayong stream tab, meron tayong classwork tab, tapos meron tayong people tab. So, may tatlong tabs yan class. Okay? So, yan yung i-discuss natin dito class. Pero ang i-discuss natin class yung browser edition. Okay? So, next slide class, dapat ang nasa screens natin is yung stream tab. Tama? Wala pa. Yan. Okay? So, sa stream tab class, i-discuss natin ano yung mga useful buttons doon. Tapos kung ano ba ang stream tab. So, ang stream tab kasi class, parang ito lang yung timeline mo sa Facebook. Dito makikita class kung ano yung mga siguro announcements. Okay? So, first stop class is yung class code. So, makikita mo dapat doon yung class code class. So, ang class code class, yan yung code para maka-join ka doon sa specific class. Okay? So, second class, meron tayo ng meet link. Sa baba lang class ng class code, meron tayo class ng meet link. So, yung meet link na yan, class, yan yung link na pupuntahan mo kung gusto kung may tanong ka or something, kung may discussion tayo, class, para mapadpad ka din sa meeting natin, class. So, yung link na yan, class, consistent na yan all throughout the semester. Okay? So, kung may meeting tayo, class, i-click nyo lang dan, mapapadpad na tayo sa meeting. Okay? So, third class, ito yung pinakamalaga. Meron tayong dinatawag na uh, upcoming activities, class. Pag pinindot mo, class, yung view all na yan, class, makikita mo kung ano yung mga naka-assign na activities. Ano yung tapos mo na, yung hindi mo pa tapos, kung ano yung gagawin mo. Okay? Ito class for the specific subject to. Okay? So yung stream tab natin, class, again, di ba, timeline yan, class. So dito, class, medyo in-edit ko yung settings para class yung, ako lang yung pwede mag-post. Okay? So yung number four, class, dito yung makita lahat ng announcements ko. 
Kung baga tinanggal ko kasi yung power niya na mag-post dun sa timeline natin. Okay? So, since tinanggal ko, kasi saan kayo pwedeng maglagay ng post niyo? Uh, sa comment section na lang tayo mag-voice uh, out class ng reactions or conference. Okay? So, yan class yung stream tab. Sa oras. Okay? So, next class, dapat na sa screens natin is yung classwork tab. Tama? Yan. So, sa classwork tab class, ito na yung parang pinaka-classroom natin. Okay? So, anong makikita natin sa classwork tab? So, first tab class is yung your work. Parang pwede mo makita yung work mo. So, yung button na yung class, parehas lang yan dun sa view all button dun sa stream tab. So, makikita mo dito class yung list ng activities mo. Yung hindi mo patapos, yung tatapusin mo pa lang, tapos yung tapos mo na. Okay? So, number 2 class, meron tayong topic. So, in a way class, ito yung table of contents ng ating classroom. Naka-hyper link to class. So, pag pininot mo yung any topics dyan, class, mapapadpad ka dun sa specific topics. Okay? Number 3 class, meron tayong tinatawag na class G drive. So, ito class, kahit may nakasulat na class, personal to. Okay? So, sa mga hindi aware class, ang Google, Google Drive class, ito yung parang flash drive natin sa internet. Okay? So, again, class personal to class, ikaw lang makakita. So, whatever ilagay mo dyan, class, hindi namin makikita. As in, ikaw lang makakita. Okay? Number 4, class, meron din tayong boot button para dun sa Google Meet link natin. Okay? So, tabi ng Google Meet link class button, kung titignan nyo, may Google Calendar. Yung Google Calendar na yun, class, ikaw mag edit niyan. Okay? So, personal rin yan. Okay? So, fifth class, and dito yung activists natin. So, ito yung pinaka-bulk talaga or laman ng ating Google classroom, I mean niya, yeah, yung class rate tab natin. Okay? So makikita nyo yung class, ang pwedeng laman yan is meron tayong module, videos, homework, quiz, exam, open forum, practice problems, or references. Okay? So kung titignan nyo dito class, uh, siguro yung open forum. Okay? So yung open forum class, ang open forum is, dyan kayo magtatanong. If you have any questions, class pwede dyan. Okay? Kaya lang siya naging open forum class kasi makikita ng lahat. So pwede rin sumagot kahit sino. Okay? Practice problems class, hindi kayo required dito. So, practice problems siya class for practice lang talaga siya. Kung baga kasi isipin nyo na lang meron tayong dalawang variation. Meron tayong graded tsaka ungraded. So, ang graded natin class, ito yung homework tabs yung quizzes. Ang graded natin class, yung open forum tapos yung practice problems. So, hindi kayo required class sagutan yung open forum tsaka yung practice problems. Okay? So, para mas ma-differentiate yung class kung saan din yung graded tsaka yung ungraded class, yung graded may due dates. Okay? So, tuloy-tuloy tayo class. So, next slide class, dapat ang nasa screens natin is yung column, comment section. Tama? Yeah. So, yung comment section class, kasi nga, di ba, tinanggal ko yung power niya mag-post dun sa stream tab. So, pwede rin tayo class maglagay ng comments natin, reactions, concern regarding the specific module. So, kailangan mo lang class palabasin yung comment section. So, paano mo papalabasin yung comment section class? Pindutin mo lang yung topic na yun. Okay? Or class, punta ka dito sa ating topics. Doon sa table of contents, pindutin mo lang ba? So, kung wari may question ka sa session 3, pindutin mo session 3 class, lalabas yung comment section doon. Okay? So, last class, meron tayong tinatawag na people tab. Dapat ang nasa screen sa ating class is yung people tab. Tama? Yeah. So, sa people tab class, dito mo makikita yung recognized teachers mo. Tapos, class kung sino yung classmates mo. Partners in crime. Okay? Sila yung mga recognized. So, yun na class. That's it for our present PowerPoint presentation. Okay? So, balik tayo dito class. So, ang next class, yung part 2, medyo itatakil natin kasi ipapakita ko kung ano yung mga diniscuss natin class dun sa PowerPoint presentation class. Okay? So, unahin natin class yung stream tab. So, ganito class yung tsura ng stream tab. So, more or less class dapat ang nasa screens natin is yung training workshop on developing business learning materials. Tama ba? So, ganito class ang itsura ng Steam tab. So, kung titignan mo class, pwede mo i-scroll. Parang timeline lang siya. So, again, class, in-edit ko yung settings para ako lang yung pwede mag-post para siguro, ano, pagkatingin mo palang announcements na. Okay? Yung hindi tipong good morning, gano'n-gano'n. Okay? So, ang titignan nyo class sa baba ng batch 2. Andiyan class yung meet link natin. So, dito class nakatanggal. Inalis na yung ano, class code. Pero, supposedly class above meet link, may class code. Okay? So, ang mahalaga dito class is yung view all. So, makikita mo dito yung upcoming activities. Pag clinic mo yung class, mapapadpad ka dito. So, dapat class ang nasa screens natin is yung assigned missing, yung to do. Tama? Yan. Okay? So, makikita mo dito class kung ano yung assigned. So, ito yung mga gagawin mo palang dapat. Okay? Missing class, ito yung mga hindi mo nagawa. Missing siya kasi class nag-lapse na yung due date, something ganun. 
Okay? Tapos done class, ito yung mga tapos mo na. Okay? So next tab class, ipapakita ko naman class kung anong itsura ng class work tab. Yan. So dapat class, ang nasa screens natin is yung class work tab. Tama? Yan. Okay? So dito class, yeah, ganito yung itsura ng class work tab natin class. No? So ang ginawa ko class sa layout ng ating classroom, hinati ko per module. So kung dito yung class per module, no? Tapos class, hiniwalay ko na rin yung prelim activities and assessments natin. So meron tayong for prelims, for midterms, tapos for finals. Okay? So makikita nyo rin dito class, and dito rin yung Google Meeting natin. So ilalagay ko lahat yung mga Google Meetings natin. Meron rin tayo class for, uh, ito, yung Google Class Orientation and Guidelines. So and dito class, and dito yung course syllabus natin, and dito yung kick-off. So ito class yung PowerPoint presentation ko kanina. Tapos meron tayo class ng SLU module. So ito yung module natin class for the course. Okay? So, hindi ko pa siya hinahati kasi supposedly class, yeah, binabala kong gumawa nung ano. Kung ano yung gagamitin ko kasi sa discussion class, yun yung ilalagay kong module dito sa other modules natin. Okay? So, ipapakita ko lang dito kasi paano palabasin yung comment section. So, kuwari class, may, may, may tanong tayo sa module 1, no? So, para mapalabas class yung comment section sa module 1, pindutin mo lang yung module 1. Electrical theory. Pag pinindot mo yung class, yan, lalabas na yung comment section. Okay? Or class, pwede ka dito sa table of contents natin. So, pindutin mo lang yung module 1 dun sa table of contents, class yan. Lalabas yung comment section. Okay? So, lastly, class, yung people tab. So, ganito ang itsura ka sa people tab. So, makita mo lang dito kung saan yung teachers, tapos ano yung, sino yung mga kaklase mo. Okay? Mag-extend tayo konti, 5 minutes. Okay? So yun class. So ang next na ipapakita ko class is anong itsura ng quiz or exam. Okay? So ganito class. So dapat ang nasa screen sa ating class is yung C311 midterms exam. Tama? Yan. So ipapakita ko sa dalawang variation. So yung unang variation class, uh, ipapakita natin kung anong mangyayari pag hindi mo na-submit. Okay? So ito, hindi ko na-submit. Uh, so more or less kasi magbibigyan ng link or email. Pag binuksan nyo class yung link or email na yun, dito ka mapapadpad. Okay? Again class, pag hindi ka pa ready i-take yung exam class, wag mong pipindutin yung open form. Pero since ready na tayo class, gano. So pindutin ko yung open form class, mapapadpad ka class dun sa exam. Ayan. Okay? So kung titignan nyo kasi yung observe nyo sa baba ng URL class, andyan yung timer. So ganyan yung ng timer class. Okay? So ilalagay mo class yung ID number mo. 6211-2202. 2202.slu.edu.ph Okay? Tapos yung name natin, class. So, dapat surname muna, tapos given name. Again, class, ang gagawin natin dito, class, para makita nyo kung anong itsura, class, nung pag naglapse yung timer. Pag hindi mo siya na-submit within the given time frame. Okay? Ayan. Ayan. So, laruin lang natin, class. Ubusin lang natin yung oras, no? Ayan. Pusin lang natin yung oras para makita nyo kas anong mangyayari pag di mo na-click yung submit button. So, kung titignan nyo kas, ganito yung tsura, no? Uh, mayroon lang tayong main problem, tapos mayroon tayong uh, record questions. Okay? Minsan, class, may, yung main problem natin, kung titignan nyo kasi ma-determine, ano? Minsan, mayroon tayong main problem dito, class. Dapat ang sasagutan natin, class, is yung main problem. Kung baga yung mga follow-up questions dito, class, for partial points lang yan. So pag sinabi sa main problem class na analyze completely or like isolve mo lahat ng members class, dapat yun yung gagawin natin. Kung baga hindi porket ang nakalagay lang dito sa baba yung question class is what is force dun sa member MN, yun lang yung isosolve mo. Okay? Dapat class, ang sasagutan natin is yung main problem. Keep in mind class, again, yung mga nandito sa baba is for partial points lang siya. Okay? Supposedly, class, we are to answer the main problem. Yun dapat yung makikita ko. Kasi, class, pag hindi mo sinagot yung main problem, hindi mo ako yung full credit. So, titignan nyo, class, yan. Pag hindi mo na-submit, tapos nag-lapse yung timer, class, ganito yung mangyari. Ayan lang natin ng konti. Pag-extend tayo ng mga 5 minutes. Yan. Okay? So, dapat, class, na nakikita nyo sa screen, so, yes, yung sorry, time is over, your answers were not recorded. Tama? Yan. Okay? So, ganyan kasi yung itsura kapag hindi mo pindot yung submit button tapos, tapos, tapos na yung timer. Okay? So, last class, second to the last, pakita lang natin anong mangyayari class kapag na-submit mo. 
Okay, so same class, di ba? Open form tayo, class. Yan. Tapos lagay natin yung email. So, 211-0202 slu.edu.ph RJ. Ayan. Okay. So, titignan mo, class. Sagutan lang natin lahat. Shucks, ito ating mahaba. Ay, hindi. Ito yung details. Ayan. Okay. Okay. So, paabuti natin, class. Ipapakita ko, class, anong itsura. Para sure ka kung nasubmit mo bar hindi. So, dapat, class, ang lalabas doon. Yan. So, kung titignan nyo, class, no, solution paper. Saan mo, saan mo ipapasok solution paper? Tapos, tatanong nyo ako ng submit mo ng solution paper. So, ito yung sinasabi ko, class, yung submission ID. So, kahit wala tayong ginawa, class, may nakalagay. So, hayaan nyo lang yung nakalagay ka skip this field. Pindutin mo yung submit button. Pagka pindot mo submit button, class, dapat ganito yung makita mo. So, pag nakita mo, class, sa screen mo is thank you, your form was successfully submitted, class, ibig sabihin, nasubmit mo yung form. Gets back. Okay? Last class. Last. Yan. So, dapat, class, ang nasa screens natin is yung Gmail. Tama? Yan. So, eto, class, ipapakita kung paano mo makikita kung ano yung score mo. So, supposedly, class, ang minimum requirement natin dito, dapat na pindot mo yung submit button. Okay? Kasi yan, class, yung mara-return. So, pag na-check ko na yan, class, na-return ko na, may email ka. So, hanapin mo na yung email na yun, class, buksan mo yung email, makikita mo yung score mo. Kung gusto mo makita doon, class, kung saan mo yung tama at mali mo, class, pindutin mo yung view button. So, pag pinindot mo, class, yung view button, mapapadpad ka, class, doon sa form. Okay? So, yan. Tama ba? Ang nasa screens dapat natin class is yung theory exam, midterms. Tama? Yan. So makikita mo dito class kung ano yung mali mo tsaka tama mo. So pag red yan class, mali. Pag green class, tama. So for every mali class, tingnan mo lang sa baba ng question na yun class, ibibigyan nyo yung tamang sagot. Okay? So yun class, that ends our yeah, orientation class. Okay? So kung may tanong tayo class, yeah. Itanong nyo lang, class, kung wala tayong mic, uh, ilagay nyo lang sa chat box. So, may questions ba tayo, class? Questions? Kung may questions tayo, class, i-google nyo muna. Medyo lang, class. Kung may questions tayo, mapa-English o Tagalog, mapatipang bakit inagugulo yung box si Dora or where din sa Dora part, class, itanong nyo lang. Kasi ako, I believe there's no such thing as a stupid question, class. So, may questions tayo, class, itanong nyo lang. May questions ba tayo, class? Questions? Ano ba yung mga previous questions, class? Ah, so, in terms, class, dun sa quizzes, no? So, may times kasi, class, siguro, ano, nag-quiz kayo. Siyempre, may timer yun, di ba? Time pressure dyan, class, no? Tapos, nagka-problema, class. Kuwari na brown out, na wala ng internet or something. Okay? So, dapat, class, pag ganun, Uh, i-chat nyo agad ako or like i-document nyo class. Uh, provide evidences. Kung baga class, pag nagka-brown out, dapat uh, siguro picture nyo yung labas, yung walang kuryente gan. Basta magbigay kayo ng proof class. Para sa mga mga instances class, bibigyan ko kayo ng consideration. Okay? Pag nagka-error naman class, hindi mo alam gagawin class, may problema, i-chat nyo ako sa messenger class. Yun yung pinakamabilis. Okay? May questions ba tayo class? Format ng solution paper class, wala. Ang gusto ko lang dun class is, ano, kayo na bala sa margin and all, basta gusto ko may name. Okay? Questions? Questions? May tanong tayo class? So again class, ang galawan ko, teaching style lang class offline, no? So i-upload ko class sa dalawang platform, Google Drive tsaka YouTube. Okay? Consultation hour natin class is 8.30 to 9.30 Saturdays. Okay? So if ever there's question class, yeah. Doon tayo. Wala tayong tanong class? Questions, questions, questions? So wala tayong tanong class, i-end na natin yung meeting dito. Kung may further questions kayo class, itanong nyo lang sa Messenger or sa Google Classroom natin. Okay? So kung okay na class, I-end natin dito yung meeting. So, thank you for staying, guys. Bye.
Sige, good day.